Coronavirus, is it really a health emergency or is it now an economic emergency? Hello, B Business B fans. Let me take the B Business B hoodie off as well. There you go. And coronavirus, is it really a health emergency or is it now an economic emergency? If you look around my town centre where I am at the moment, this is a Saturday and it's normally bursting at the seams. And as you can see at the moment, it's fairly quiet, really. So, COVID-19, what has been the impact on the economy? Let's take a look at these next slides and see what's actually happened to the UK economy since COVID-19. As you can see from this graph, which shows GDP. Remember, GDP is output in the economy. Since coronavirus, you can see that the UK economy has actually fallen into recession. And even though we start to make improvements, you can see the growth on the graph, it's still 9.2% below where it was in February of 2020. So that's the impact on our output in our economy. You can see there the graphs has got lines for construction, services and manufacturing, and most importantly, all of them are showing the same trend. This chart is really interesting because it shows us how it's impacted on different services from our service sector in the UK. And the services that have done well, believe it or not, out of coronavirus and COVID are the pharmaceutical and medical services. However, the ones that have done the worst and are still lower than 50% of where they were previously in February are things such as the travel industry, the rail transport network, the entertainment industry, they're all the ones that have been hit the hardest since COVID-19. So you can see that in the UK economy, there's very few that are actually above where they have been. And nearly every single sector in the service sector is below where it was in February. Now, this chart is a similar chart. However, it's looking at manufacturing output in the UK. And you can tell which industries have been hit the hardest in the UK. Believe it or not, it is aircraft and spaceship maintenance and car manufacturing. And those are key industries, of course, and we have been hit, especially with, well, say, key industries, the uh, car industry is a key industry. I'm not aware of much spacecraft engineering going on in the UK. Somebody probably will point out and correct me if I'm wrong. However, the uh, areas of growth, again, have been in the pharmaceutical production. So, again, you can see that the blue areas where most of the growth have happened, they've all been in medicine and pharmaceutical areas. This chart, for me, follows on from what we were just talking about, and it shows visibly the impact that it's had on the manufacturers of motor vehicles, so the producers of cars. As you can see, it's quite a key industry for the UK, and look how it's declined rapidly since COVID. And obviously now it's way below the levels it was previously in February. Now, given that this is quite a large area in the UK of manufacturing, that has a significant um, impact on the economy. Of course, people may not be purchasing cars because they feel scared at the moment. They feel unsure. They feel uncertain. And all these aspects and elements, obviously, of consumer confidence are now starting to impact on whether people are purchasing items, expensive items, such as cars. And finally, I wanted to look at the hospitality sector. Now, the UK government has actually did the Help Out to Eat Out scheme, which did cost the taxpayer £522 million. And it did see 100 million discounted meals over the scheme. And you can sort of see the impact of that. If you look at the sharp growth area, so the sharp growth in restaurants and pubs and cafes, for example, that's mainly because of the Help Out to Eat Out scheme. So you could argue that government stimulation into the economy did have a positive impact. Of course, is it going to have a sustained impact is a real question because you can see that those lines are still below the points where they were previously. However, they are nearly back to where they were. So it does show that maybe some government stimulation and targeted stimulation can have a real positive impact. Thanks for joining me on this short video looking at the impacts of COVID-19 on the UK economy. Hopefully you found it useful. Don't forget to click the subscribe button down below and also check out some of my other videos that I've produced. Until next time, keep buzzing.